everyone. Happy Thursday to you all. Welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Miss Rachel Langston is also an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb and we love to craft. We love our community here. Um, I'm trying to pull you up now so I can see who all is here to see who I really love. To see who I really love. You don't have favorites. It's like a parent saying they don't have a favorite. I'm sorry, I'm a parent. I have three children. And I have, well, they're, <laughs> I don't know that I have an overall favorite child, but I have like a favorite child for specific scenarios. Yes. And if you this don't, is normal. you're a liar. True. Um, sorry, I was, I don't know what that is or why it's on there, but maybe we'll use it. Um, we're going to get a little crafty today. There are lots of things going on. We're going to be painting this cute thing. I'm not painting these. These are numbers. Um, I'm going to be putting vinyl on this. We're going to attach this cute little box to this plaque. Add some decorative corner hardware. Add some L brackets. Like I said, vinyl right here is going to be cute. This guy holds greenery, succulents, whatever you want. And then it's going to have the street address right here. We have lots going on. It's a cute little project I'm excited about. Um, and I said that I was not going to use the Venture for this project, but the design that I'm putting on the box is going to take forever to cut out if I don't. So <laughs> we're using the Venture. Who all do we have here? Just got power back last night after two days, Jen. Oh my oh goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, Alan and Lisa didn't have power for 24 hours the day before last because of the, the storms. Oh man, that sounds horrible. Yeah, you can actually put other things in the box. Absolutely you can if you don't like greenery or succulents. That's the beauty of DIYing. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, good morning. I am in my classroom getting it ready for next week. Grizel, blessings on you. I know. Diana. Read Diana's. Hurry. <laughs> You're so funny. My hair is getting long and I washed it last night and just went to bed with it wet. So that's why it looks like this. And then I had a raincoat on and I, so what happens is I only wash my hair once, like every eight days. Which Gasp, that's shock, lucky. whatever. Lucky. It's not disgusting. There's no oil in it. You, I just she showers it every day. Yeah. Let's just. Um, yeah. And I use dry shampoo and all that stuff. But after the first day, if I don't put product in it, like gel to scrunch it or something, then it's too soft to put in a top knot. It's like this limp, weird thing. And that's where I am right now. Also, um, any excuse to use your new toy. Stacey, I love that toy. I'm telling you. I put it away. And Becca was like, yeah, I'll use the maker. And I go to use the bathroom, and I come back out, and boy, howdy, she's taken the maker off, put the venture on. And I said, are you serious? And she, she said, I can't not use it. I love her. Yeah. Uh, hi, Lisa. We're trying to think of a name for our venture, Lisa. Lisa got a Volvo vehicle, and she names vehicles like we do, and so we were looking for V names. I'm thinking we need a V name for the venture. Yeah. You let me know what you think. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's get started. We're gonna do, I'm trying to decide what order I want to do this in. Let's paint, nope, let's cut first. Let's go to design space. Well, before we go to design space, I'm sorry, Rachel, I'm all over the place today. You're first, fine. let's measure our box that we're going to be using. Like I said, I'm gonna put vinyl on this. It's gonna have vinyl on the front and the sides. Um, now the sides have these cute little handles. I got, I'm on the overhead. <clears throat> I'm looking at the front like you can see me. The, the sides have these cute little handles, so we're gonna have to go in and like manually cut these out. If you could find a box that doesn't have handles, that might even be better, but I just found this at Hobby Lobby in the wood pile section. It was 40% off of $249, so very, very affordable. And this plaque was 40% off of $379. So I, honestly, how much were these? These little letters, which you could make this out of vinyl too, but I wanted them to be a little bit 3D. If you had a laser cutter, you could cut them out. Um, of wood or acrylic or whatever, but purchase these 40% off of 99 cents each. So what are we up to now? Like less than 10 bucks still. We have and these I'm not gonna say that Becca didn't make good choices cause these are gorgeous, but there are some really great options at the Dollar Tree yeah. too. Yeah. Little boxes, I know it doesn't have handles on the sides. Look there first. Also, yeah. I don't know about you, 
I think every crafter has some of these in their stash. Probably. But check your stash too. If you don't have them in your stash, chances are you probably cleaned your craft room out last week and threw them away. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. Which is what right I Right when you would need them. Yeah. I don't know why I feel compelled to pull those off, but. Okay, so over in design space, after I measure this, I, I think it was six and a quarter. Yep, six and a quarter by two and a quarter, and then of course two and a quarter this way by four and a quarter. So we're gonna put blanks in design space that are those size so that we can accurately cut our vinyl here. So I, I'm describing like a tile design, adding it to the canvas. And I decided to rotate mine so that the points were up and down instead of side to side. Um, mine is a little bit smaller than an inch, 0.86. So if you want to rotate this and have it stop at exact measurements, you can do that. My jaw's hanging open at this design. Why? Because it's gonna look so cute. I think it's gonna be fun too. You can put the angle up here, just like that. If you didn't know that it was a 45 degree angle, then you could hover over, hold in shift, and then it will change it to 23 and then 45 like that. Now I'm just going to size this to, did I say 0.86 or, yeah, 0 0.86. 0 0.86. Okay, and you can see these right here, like this box right here is the representation of the side, the 4.25 by 2.25. And then this box right here is a representation of the front, the 6.25 by 2.25. So all I did was start right here. Megan said, do we know yet how the venture does with small details? Nope, we're testing it out, my friend. And I'm gonna put this right here and then I'm gonna duplicate. So Command D on my computer, place this right here, and then I can hold in both of them and duplicate them again. And then duplicate again and put it right here. And now this is where it is important. You want to make sure that these are spaced out and lined up perfectly. So what you wanna do is make sure that you have all of them selected and we are going to go to a line and we want to distribute these horizontally. And what that's gonna do, if this one is moved over too far like this, then it's going to evenly distribute all of them. I wanted to move that over. Go back. <clears throat> I wanted to move that over drastically so you could see what I was talking about. Okay, so align, distribute horizontally, and it just moved them all a little bit. And then we want to make sure that they are vertically centered as well. Now, I'm going to group these together so that they don't move around and I can duplicate again. I'm just gonna move this one right here, kind of pull it like this. Then I'll duplicate it again, place it right here. And this is just a really easy way to get this design without having to manually place each individual little thing. So now we're looking good. And once you have that pattern, which I'm gonna use this one over here, but once you have that pattern, you could duplicate it just by selecting like this, duplicate, and pull it down right here on top of this. So you don't have to do that more than once. Now what I want to do is pull this over here and I'm going to basically slice out so that all of this isn't cut. Does that make sense? I don't want all of this extra. It's just gonna be a waste if I do that. So first of all, let's move this to the front. We're gonna right click and, and press bring to front. And I can't really see where this is placed, right? So what I want to do is go to guide. I'm gonna change it to guide so that I can see through it. I can still see um, like the box which is nice. And I'm gonna pull this up like this, just cause that's where I want it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Let me go find that box really quickly. Bring to front, um, guide, and then I'll 
just move it until I like the placement of it as well. That's pretty good. Now, let me select all of these except this. So all of the tiles are selected, but my guide is not. And I am going to weld it together so that it's one layer. It might take a minute because there's so many different. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing with this one right here. So select. I'm holding in shift and, and pressing this so that it will deselect that. And then I'm going to weld it together. When I weld this together, it will, it put, it, it kind of makes it like a new layer. So it brings the layers on top. So then these again would need to be moved up. And then I'm going to select and subtract. I did the wrong way. <laughs> Hold on. I can also slice. And then if you slice, and then you can delete this part and keep the insides. Whichever way you want to do it. Come on, buddy. Wait a minute. Why did it do that? Huh. That's interesting. Look how cool that looks. I have never, I don't normally use the guide. I normally just use a basic shape. Yeah. But that's really cool. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. Slice. And then we'll delete the yielded results that we don't need. Rachel, I assume nobody has questions. Nope. Okay. Perfect. You're that good of a teacher. I feel like I'm everywhere today, so. You're not. You're fine. You. And then we have two sides, so we're going to duplicate this one. We need two of these. So duplicate. Perfect. That's all we're doing in Design Space. We have our cute little, the other thing that you could do if you had a repeating pattern already um, that you wanted, just pull that in. But I mean, we created a repeating pattern here, but if you had one that you already wanted, it would be really easy to do that as well. Um, I am going to be using the Venture, so let me change my machine selection to Venture. Are you doing this in heat transfer vinyl or regular vinyl? Regular vinyl. You, who am you I? You woke up with guts today. Who Just am so I? much I guts. know. Let's go ahead and click make it and let me connect to the Venture. Okay, so we will be using the mat. We'll be using the 24 by 12 inch mat. And let's look and see what this looks like. Perfect. This is looking good. I might move it over just a little bit. I got I got some anxiety kicking in. Because of I got how small some anxiety it is. Kicking in. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm a little anxious as well. I th this is a good test though, because we haven't tested the accuracy. The itty bitty yeah. tiny cuts. Now yeah. the nice thing about this is is that it will all weed in one piece. I'm not gonna have to go in and weed all those tiny things. True. So that's nice. True. But I am mildly concerned like the little pieces are gonna move around with the cutting. the cutting we'll, we'll see. see okay so i am going to be using um the starcraft vinyl let's see here i need i don't want to cut i'm going to move this one up because i don't want to cut it long this way what are we looking at one two three four five this is trippy with my head on the measurements because it's sideways yeah. yes yeah okay and then we'll place this in the bottom left-hand corner. I'll give myself a little bit extra here. We'll bray her down really good. Are you guys doing okay? Did y'all get any storms? Let us know. We got, I, I woke up to more thunder this morning. Yeah, same. They actually delayed public schools, not my they kids' did. school. They did. They delayed public schools this morning they because did. storms were supposed to roll through when bus routes would start. Okay, that is braid down. We'll press continue, connect to our venture. USB connection. It helps if you turn it on. Come on, there we go. Crickets in here. <laughs> okay. 
materials. We're using vinyl, premium vinyl, my word. I'm not seeing it, where is it? Permanent, it's not smart vinyl. We'll use this one. Sorry, we don't have them favorited. Let me go ahead and favor it. When you get a new machine, I think it should pull in I think your favorited too. items with whatever machine. I think it should be account based instead of machine based, but that's just what I think. Okay, so we need to make sure that the lever is on position two, that the left and right guides are up, the mat support is out, and we're gonna do all of that. Okay, so here's our mat support. That's up, that's up. We'll get this in here. Why don't you want to go in there, buddy? There you go. Down, and then we'll load this. Um, I have a little bit of anxiety. I'm with Me you, Rachel, too. about too. these cuts. We'll see. This is a good test. At least it's us. Uh, uh, it's actually decent weather here. Other than the rain, like the temperature's been really nice, in my opinion. I've actually been able to go outside. Yeah. Okay. So while that is cutting, let's go ahead and paint this guy. I'm just gonna use black acrylic paint and this brush, and then I'll probably heat gun it. It's a technical term, if you didn't know. Heat gun it? Heat gun yeah. it. Uh -huh. It's a verb. Look at that thing go back there. We'll see. I'm scared. Ooh needs to be mixed up here. Hi, Susan, I haven't seen you here in a while. She said, so glad you were doing this test. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how, how she does on this small cut. Hey, Tracy. Good morning, Christina. Hi, everyone. So, I don't know that we have any new crafters, but if anybody happens to be watching later, if you are painting this and putting vinyl on it or staining it and putting vinyl on it, you need to make sure that you have plenty of dry time. Vinyl on a wet-ish, non-cured surface does not do well, especially if it's heat transfer vinyl. Oh yeah. Um, so make sure, honestly, I, I have before heat gunned it and gone about my business. But it, it just doesn't stick as well. It comes up really easily. Um, so make sure if you're doing that, if you're doing vinyl letters instead of the wood letters like what we have, then make sure you have plenty of cure time. Almost finished here. I think it's only gonna need one coat. I love that paint. It's a, that's a good yeah. one coat paint. I was gonna say the same. I should have gloved up. That's no fun. Oh. It's not a good craft unless you risk ruining your manicure, which I had just gotten my nails done. I guess it was last weekend and grabbed black spray paint to spray paint this, that shelf that I put in my bathroom, Rachel. Uh -huh. Yeah, all over my nails. Sure. Brand new. Yeah. Sure. I need, to, I need to do a reveal of my bathroom. So I know I, I told you all the story about the shower and all that stuff. Shower is finished. Um, I ended up adding new vanity lights, new pulls on my vanity. Dad is making two new drawer fronts because I was going to replace the vanity. But the only thing that was wrong with it was one of the drawer fronts did this like weird peeling thing. And so I was like, oh, maybe we just do new drawers, right? So he did that. Um, I've got some new decor in there. It's starting to look really cute. Let me grab this. Oh, I don't know about it, Rach. Some pieces are moving a little bit. Okay. But we'll see. Susan said she's been super impressed with the quality and speed of her venture. Uh, so far, yeah. I mean, these cuts are like, some of them are not, even an eighth of an, well, they might be an eighth of an inch in width. I don't know that they are. 
They are small, 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 small. I love a good heat gun where you can see where it's drying. Can you see that on the overhead? Yeah, it goes from like it's glossy crazy. to- It's yeah. crazy, yeah. Now, that's not dry, dry, friends. That's just the surface that's dry. But it will be good enough for what we're doing. Okay, now I can touch it. So let's go ahead and put that hardware on while that is still cutting out. We're gonna use these little, they're called corner, um, corner plates. And they come with these teeny tiny little bitty nails. It was 99 cents for the four and you just put them on the corner like this and I think it just looks really cute and decorative. They had different finishes. I think they had silver and gold. The only thing I don't love about these is that the nails are so tiny, they're hard to hold onto while you are hammering them. So I like to take pliers and hold the nail with my pliers. My dad would probably cringe if he saw me do it. Why are these not coming apart? These don't wanna, these, ones, these are best friends. They don't wanna leave each other. Stacy said, I've ruined so many manicures by crafting. Yeah, it's worth it though, right, Stacy? Okay, let me grab these pliers. Open this up here and we'll get these hammered in. Kim said, if the Venture could cut any vinyl without a mat, I would sell my Solo and get one. Yeah, um, it's only a matter of time, I think, honestly. Rachel, what other brands sell the 13 inch? Does StarCraft do a 13 inch? Well, they do a 24, which you could cut down. True, but That's I don't want to go with did. all that. Honestly, this wood is so soft, I might even be able to push these in with my finger. This is more fun though. I was about to say, you don't like using the baby hammer? Have you guys ever been to one of those like smash rooms? Have where, you? No. I it's, think it'd be fun. It sounds like something I would love though. I also, which I don't think Rachel would love them, but I love escape rooms. I like to be a hype girl. Yeah. I don't like the stress of anything timed pretty much. But I like to go and watch other people figure it out while I try and uh, mindlessly look around and figure out how these people did it. I've been to one. You didn't tell me that. When did you go? Oh, gosh, years ago. Years ago. With Bailey. Oh. And Jacob. And I think Beth on Bailey's birthday. There's haunted ones like... You know, yeah, no, thank you. I, oh, those are the ones I would want to do. Nope. We did we did one from like I don't know, it was kind of kind of boring. Um we did I one know, that was though. like schoolyard themed and it was really really cool. You started out in the classroom and then it went to the playground and then it went to Oh, a you went to multiple room. rooms? Yes, it was so cool. And you got to the locker room by going down the slide of a playground. Oh, that's It was sounds really cool. cool. See the one we were in, we were just locked in a little room until you can figure your way out. Yeah, the bigger name brand ones are really, really nice. That sounds cool. I would do that. There's some in Severeville, right? We need to go do one. We'll do it. Let's do it. Oh O and L field trip. Yeah. I gotta be honest, I thought the venture might be done by now. Oh, Amanda, great question. What's the green thing on the table? It is a paint puck, which is what I should have put this in to clean my brush. I'm gonna go, to, just... I'm gonna click to the front facing so you can see it. Okay. Look how cool that is. Look it's a cool. silicone bottom and top and then this is glass and it has these little like silicone fingers in the bottom 
that help you clean your brush. And then it has these right here that you can place your brush in to let it stand straight up. Why did this come with so many nails? It came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twenty nails. Maybe in case you made a mistake or something. A lot of mistakes. How's the venture doing, Becca? Let me look. Let me look how she's coming. Where'd the trash can go? It's way over here. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna leave these right here. Um, pretty good. Uh, for the most part, it, it's done pretty good. We, we are gonna lose a couple pieces here and there, unfortunately. So I would probably, if I had to do it over again, make these more like an inch instead of 0.8 inches. Um, I'm concerned about what's gonna happen when I weed off the excess. <coughs> we'll see. Um, I could go ahead, I want, well, no, I was gonna say I could go ahead and put this on here with my hardware and stuff, but I think it's gonna be easier to have it not attached in order to, I agree. to put those sides on. So we're just gonna have to chat for a few minutes. Oh, we hate having to do that. While we wait for that to finish. That's the worst. It's the worst. Um, so now would be a good time. Do we have any brand new viewers to the channel? Let me know. I want to give you a shout out. Um. Hi, Christina. No worries. Um. Rach, what have you got going on this weekend? Nothing much. No big plans? Nope. Um, I don't really think we have any plans either. Let me look at my calendar. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, look at your calendar. You want to hang out? I would love to. You got some free time? <laughs> I have a nail appointment at two, but I think I could fit you in. Today or tomorrow? Saturday. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, today we've got a fun. Where? Do you want to tell them? Yeah. Okay. That's fun. I'm excited. You can tell them. So you... I'm going with Rachel. <laughs> it might be TMI. Like, I don't know. Well, first of all, the girl we're going to is one of my best friends. Yeah. Becca introduced me to her years ago. She does my eyelashes, and she also does waxing. And she's tried for almost four years to convince me to get a Brazilian wax. I've never got one, ever, and today's the day. So I'm going with she Rachel. Convince me. I, Becca's coming. <laughs> I've had like my legs waxed and stuff. I've always wanted one, but yeah. I've I've been to chicken shit. So I'm going with Rachel to gauge her reaction <laughs> to see whether or not I'm going to do it. I have a point. decent pain tolerance. Me too. So we'll see how but it's gonna be hilarious becca used to work with rachel years and years and years ago yeah and i've known her for about four years now about as long as i've known becca so we're all just friends so we're just gonna it's gonna becca's be gonna go with me yeah. so it's gonna be hilarious did you miss it all no um we have painted this and put on some hardware on the corners we're waiting for our venture here to finish cutting our vinyl and then we're going to place the vinyl here and continue the project but we're in a lull right now because i can't really do anything i was gonna pre-cut this but when we pre-cut we get comments about pre-cutting because i know you all like the cutting which is funny because i'm standing in front of it you can't even see it um so we're just trying to accommodate everyone hi we do have a new viewer miss carla welcome we're so excited that you're here with hi, us carla. thank you for being here um Kim, it doesn't have to be that long to wax. It only needs to be like, depending on how quickly your hair grows, like it, the, side, the the length of a rice of a grain of rice is how long it needs to be. So like for some people, four to six, four to weeks. six weeks. Yeah. Um, okay, Becca, these, these, these women are not making me feel good about my decision. They're not making me feel good. We're doing it, Rachel. We being you. I'm going with you. Guys, I thought this, I thought you all were going to be like, oh, it's no big deal. You'll love it. Rachel, we had you, people that came in every four weeks at the salon and did it. You guys are, oh, YOLO. YOLO. I've, like I said, I've done my legs. That was no big deal at all. 
Uh, that's a little different. <laughs> my I eyebrows didn't... welt up when I get my eyebrows waxed. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what have I done? We may or may not video it. We were going not to. Not it. Not it. Me. <laughs> yes. Like my face. The process. Yeah. Dear Lord, Becky, you're going to get this video flagged. <laughs> no, I'm not. I didn't say anything. Too shy. Nanette, once you've had children, which you might have, once you have children, the shyness goes away. Yeah. Well, and if you knew Rachel, this Rachel, like, I... Well, and this is also TMI. I was very, very, very pregnant, still getting my lashes done, of course. And, of, we, like, we talk about every day. We're, we're very good friends, me and Rachel. Well, I came in for my lash appointment very pregnant. And I hadn't eaten anything, and I was having some blood pressure issues. And my blood pressure drops, and then I get sick to my stomach. So I raise up, and my eyes are taped shut, kind of. So I am I vomit, and because I vomited, I indeed peed on myself all over her, like, table. She was cracking up laughing. I was cracking up laughing. Like, she's just, she's just chill, okay? She can handle this. <laughs> She's so just whatever. It's so funny. It's so funny. Uh, Wayne came in. I don't remember if it was his chest or his back. I was learning to wax, and he came in, and I waxed him. Who? Wayne. Wayne. He's so like he doesn't care. No, no. Stacy said Russ waxed his back once, and it was hilarious. Oh my! It's gonna be fine. I'm listen. It is what it is. I'll try anything once. Well, not anything, but anything like that. <laughs> we'll see. We'll let you know. Good grief. This is sick. Could you imagine if I'd cut this on the maker? No. Would not have been a good choice. How's it, like, is it almost done-ish? I think. Well, no. Dang, no, because it hasn't even started on the second side. Um... I'm confused. Let's go ahead and put the letters on. What? There's different kinds? I thought it was like a Brazilian. That's it. You know what? This is, a, this is probably Are you talking about for... bikini versus? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's bikini line, which is just the line. And then there's oh. bikini, which is a little bit oh, more. Oh, oh, and Brazilian oh, oh. is everything. Oh. Yeah. See, I'm very uneducated. You just thought it was everything. I you thought didn't think was, there was yeah. other options. Yeah, no. Okay. Sure. Oh, gosh, Diana, that is not normal. I had my brows done once, and my skin came off. This, the wax was probably too hot. Yeah. No, I normal. welt up. I'm just sensitive skinned, but uh, it's worse if you put anything on them. Like, if she puts, uh, like, lotion or something on them, my skin doesn't react very well with it. I don't do that. I always put, which this, this is awful, because I have skin that's, like, prone to breaking out anyway. Yeah. And so when I wax, I do the same thing. Yeah. When I shave, I'm the same way. So I had to put, I have to put hand sanitizer on my brows yes. afterward to kill the bacteria. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Good morning, Daisy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put these letters or numbers on. I'm gonna place this right oh here. Oh my gosh, Carla, I'm cracking up. She said, do you need to heat gun that on the project, not the bikini area? <laughs> Carla. You I can. Did, yes, yes, I did. I did heat gun it. Yes, ma'am, I did. So I can touch it now. Um, so you can decide if you want to put your letters like this. Obviously, these letters are too big for here, and I got them for this way. But that would have been cute with small letters this way and then, like, some wording here, especially if you're using greenery or something in there that's taller and would cover this up. So I chose some draping, drooping greenery, um, and so it's not going to cover this up. So I'm just going to place this right here, get my letters how I want them, and then glue them one by one. I'm going to use wood glue. Uh, you could use epoxy if you wanted to. Wood glue dries a lot quicker than epoxy. So that's one reason I chose it. You could use hot glue as well. However, if it gets super hot where you live, hot glue is just going to heat back up and not hold very well. So talk about that. Flock talk will be about the waxing. Yes, it, well, not about the last, but about the waxing. <laughs> I don't know that, I don't know that we're in for that. Um, why can't I open this? It's like glued to itself. There we go. So I will grab, 
Oh, Rach, we need more glue. Okay. I mean, I can make this work. What kind is that? Gorilla? It's, it's the Gorilla, uh, the ultimate. Okay. Remember the one that doesn't puff up? You wouldn't believe the death glare I'm getting right now. Would you have remembered that if I hadn't said that? Probably. Yeah. Okay. I believe you. Sure. Sure you do. Hey, have you all ever heard of candle warmers? Not wax warmers, but candle warmers. So where you put like an actual wicked candle. Set it on the plate, the yes, hot plate. Yes, and it has like a light that heats it up and it works, but you don't have to have the flame. I found a super, super, super cute one this morning that I ordered and I'm really excited because I have tiny hands around candles all the time. So I'm Send really- Send it to me, I wanna see it. It's on Amazon. I love candles. Yeah, this one's really <laughs> cute. It would look really cute in your house too. Um, the reviews were really good on them too. One person mentioned that they their candles lasted longer. I don't know if that's true or not. We'll see. Uh oh. So I've got some black paint. Well, on this thing's adorable. Thanks. Let me show you all the link because that's what we do around here. Here's Is the that link. the white one or what? Yeah. Well, now I want that hobnail candle that, that they have in the picture. The too. amber one? Isn't it cute? Anna said the same thing. Wait, is it the amber one? Yes, yeah. Moroccan amber. Yeah. Sue, hello. She says hi from hot Arizona. Hello. hello. I keep getting black on everything. Let's go back with some alcohol. Here we go. Oh, I like that you can set a timer on this thing. Yes. I do too. Because that's one fear of mine is that I'll like leave the house. I haven't, yeah. but it's a fear that I'll yeah. leave the house and forget to blow it out or something. Let me clean this up here. Ooh, I'm making a mess. Rachel, where is our alcohol? Oh, there it is. Our big thing of alcohol we bought. I brought it to you. That's okay, I'll get it. Just waiting on the venture. Uh, this is what Kim said. Philosophical question. When is it too soon to start lighting fall candles? Oh, it's never too soon. I have to agree. Never too soon. Kat, don't say that. If Starbucks had their pumpkin spice latte out right now, that's what I would be drinking. So, Starbucks is also one minute from our studio, and one we that you now can drive through. Have a drive through. It opened on Monday. And it is it's it's a game changer for sure. Rachel, I went on Monday, right? The day they opened. There was not one person in the drive through. Huh? Yeah. It's crazy. Well, I think, you know, if we didn't have a Starbucks in Morristown, then people would have been like flocking no, to it. No, we have four. This is the fourth, yeah. Four. This is the only drive through one. Which I think if you have babies in the car. Yeah. You know, or you're just. Yeah, I'll drive a little bit further so that I don't have to get them out if it's yeah. raining or if I have all four kids with me. Yeah. Like yesterday I had chop too. Becca, that thing has to be almost done. Yes, it is almost finished. And then I think weeding it is going to be a nightmare because I think I'm going to have to fight each little tiny piece that wants to come up. We shall see. I'm selling fall stuff at my market already. No, absolutely. I'm actually curious. How soon do you all sell seasonal things like for the next season? For instance, if you go to Hobby Lobby, Christmas has been out for two weeks because hobbyists like to get a jump on that. Like for me personally, in my home, if I'm going to decorate for Christmas or a holiday, I like to think about it for a little bit of time. I don't want to buy it in the season because then I feel like I don't enjoy it as much. I also feel like the things are picked over by that point. Yeah. Like the little sprigs that you get for your tree and stuff from Hobby Lobby, there's some really cute new ones this year. I'm excited. Are you going to do a tree this year, like a new tree? You have to. Like, yeah. Like a 12 footer. Yeah. 
Like a, a honker. Yeah. Uh, a that's exciting. One. Big one. Maybe we'll do some stuff there for the holidays. Ooh. Yeah, that'll be fun. Sounds good. Um, the nine looks weird. Is that better? Starbucks could be next door, like we're connected enough that all I have to do is open up a window and grab my order. I still wouldn't buy Starbucks. <laughs> I love Starbucks. We have um, Dutch Bros, and I was all about it when they first opened, and that's because all of the employees who, like, opened them like were the there. And yeah, now yeah. that they're gone, it's not worth being at anymore. And I told them that's what was going to happen. Um And then, what's that new coffee place across? It's, it's, seven I saw that. Seven Brew, Brew, seven, Yeah. Never heard I of it. I saw that. Me either. And then we have Duncan right there, too. We've definitely got enough coffee places. We have um, Snowbird Mountain. Which is 60, a local. It's adorable. 60 Beans. We've got a lot. Two 60 Beans. We're got almost finished. I, I promise. I'm so sorry. Um, speaking of 60 Beans, I've been getting acai bowls from 60 Beans. Who here likes acai bowls? Let me know. It's finished. I'm obsessed with them. Loving them. Okay. I don't know if they can tell because this is black. It did pretty good. Bray the crap out of that thing. I'm going to. Okay. Let me move this over here. And the reason I would bray over scraping is because even with these rounded edges of the scraper, if any of those little pieces are like pulled up at all, I feel like it would still move it and I don't wanna do that. So braying is definitely the better option. And then I'm gonna kinda look through here and see if there are any little pieces that I need to take my weeding tool and push back down. I'm missing one right here and I don't think I have it. Oh wait, yeah, it's right here. Hey, Rach, you know what would be really nice right now? Huh? Don't say it. Don't say it. Uh-uh. Okay, this actually, now that I braid it down, oh, please, Lord, please let this go really well. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm going to have to do this so slow. Does anybody else pray in the middle of projects? Definitely, okay. when they've taken this long. <laughs> Dang it. It's gonna take forever. Okay, buckle up kiddos. Says the woman who's talking to 60 something people that are probably older than her. Oh, undoubtedly, but that's okay. yeah, 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 that's okay. We're all kiddos here. That's okay. My favorite is when I go to a drive through and I'm 30, 36, right? So I'm a youngin. But these 18-year-old kids are, are... you 36? Yeah. I thought you were 37. You're 36? <laughs> 36. Um, okay. Anyway, they call me honey. And I can't decide if it's a southern thing or if they're trying to be like... I don't know. One thing I've never understood, I am Southern though, so that's probably the thing, is I, I think it's weird when I call people ma'am and they're like, uh, ma'am is my mother, you don't have to call. I'm like, it's, it's not an age, I'm not calling you old. Like, I don't get that when people are offended when I say sir or ma'am. I'm well, like, call me ma'am, but don't call me honey. I hate pet names. My favorite is when I get called love. Mm -hmm. You don't love me, I don't know you, don't say that. Uh, even Beckett calls Becca babe sometimes because Wayne does. Yeah, yeah, I love that, though. Babe. Babe. He does it when he's trying to get something from me. Mm. Come Butter on, babe. Up. Or trust me, babe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite thing about Wayne is that he sifts through the garbage to find cigarette boxes. He doesn't smoke. But is it Marlboro? Yeah. And he can scan them on his phone or something and get points to get free stuff that probably would take. I mean, like the time, time is money, right? The time he spends on all this is not even close to being worth what he gets. 
It's so funny to That's me. That's Wayne for you. It's so funny He to has me. gotten me three pairs of Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses, though. Listen, I just think it's priceless that he's, like, got them for Marlboro. And, like, he hasn't smoked. And, like, he just, he doesn't smoke. It's just so funny. This is not going well. Is it not? No. You know what I would do? Start over? No. What? Rip it off like a Band-Aid. You know what I might do? What? I might use this part instead of the inside. Good. That's what I'm going to do. So can you give me a piece of wax paper so that I can put this back down? What's down doesn't look bad at all. Well, but it's missing. Look, it's missing all of this. So what do you want? Um... I have to go in here and get the pieces out. Uh, oh, that was a nice noise. Hold on. Jenny said it does look like it cut really well, though. For the most part, it did. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I want some. I want something that I can put this back down on and like weed off. So it'll come back up from. Oh, I'm an idiot. Hold on. Where's the transfer tape? Sorry, we had this set up from last time and everything's in the wrong space. Okay. We're just troubleshooting here with you all live. Okay. Yeah, I may just have to have a wax or Look, Rachel. Oh, 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 this is a good day. <laughs> this is a good day. Okay, that's not happening. We'll work about. We'll deal with that later. Um. Teflon sheet. Can I put it on a Teflon sheet? And pull it back up. I guess we'll see. It's probably not a smart idea, is it? Where's our wax paper? Becca, just go ahead and put one area on the box. Use the Cricut True Control knife to cut around it. Well, I, but I needed to the get areas. There's all the. There's still little pieces in there. You can weed it up after you put it on the box. Okay. Okay, Rachel. Well, <laughs> just, I'm throwing out ideas. I like it. With the pin pin tool. Or that cute little mermaid thing. Yeah, not technically like called a pin pin tool. But no, it's better because it's cuter. It is cuter. And the, the, the needle doesn't retract like the pin pin tools. It would like retract into itself and you couldn't use it. Oh, you mean like while you were using yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. There's that. We'll go in here. Get all these little pieces. Me, hey, this is going to this is going to weed really easily. Hey, this was a test for a reason. The famous last words. Man, and you know, I wasn't even going to do this. And then on the way over here, I was like, you know, it would be really cool if I put a pattern on the box instead of just like painting it or staining it. Were those also famous last words? Yeah. Notorious for just doing a little bit extra that I shouldn't have done. Stacey, I think it's because I'm just a little bit rough on things. That it's just me. What'd she say about the pin pin tool? Yeah, she said mine has never retracted while using it weird. Yeah, Rachel does everything with gusto. I'm so gentle. So gentle. If a craft product doesn't hold up, 
I, sometimes I just blame me. She's just testing stuff out for you. Yeah, yeah. So true. Maybe this should only be one sided. <laughs> Sorry. Rachel, I found a book at Home Depot. You you found a book? Yeah, it was something about jokes. I think it was Home Depot. Something about jokes. And I thought about getting it so that we could tell jokes on the lives. Oh, my Lord. I didn't think you would appreciate it, though. Okay. I don't know how to get this off my hand. I'm going to put this down right here and take my true control knife and cut off the excess straight on my mat. Oh, look at that. And then I'll have to do the inside as well where those handles are. There we go. Okay, that was good. And then this $40 mat here that I'm ruining. Are you mad about it? Am I mad about it? Mm -hmm. No, we cut all math all the time. No, I just mean all the crap I'm leaving on it. No. Ew. Almost finished. Okay, that worked really well. Okay, there's that side. <laughs> We're not even a third of the way finished. Look oh at my boy, hands. Boy, it's going to be cute. It will be. It will be. Okay, let me cut this one. You eating anything good lately, Becca? <sighs> Just those acai balls, Rach. Just those acai balls. I told Rachel today I am 1.8 pounds away from my first major goal, which was 100 pounds of weight loss. And I started my weight loss journey one year ago, this not tomorrow, but the next Friday. And so I'm really hoping that I can get that 1.8 off by that. So I'm trying to be really creative with what I eat right now. Um, I'm trying to like push extra water. Oh, which is always great. Yes. No one in the world drinks enough water. And and when you do, what happens, Becca? Yeah, I'm going to the bathroom four times a night. I have to wake up and pee four <laughs> times a night. That's a mis like that. That you. Yeah. yeah, it's miserable. That lowers your quality of life. It does. When I, you get yeah. up four times a night. Eventually, I know, like, because I've done this before. Eventually, I know my body will get used to it, and I'll stop peeing so much. But yeah. But for right now, yeah. your body's like, what is all of this water? Yes. everyone, Becca, everyone is so proud of you. Thank you. Um, One of my goals... My kids love to roller skate, and I told them I was, you know, 100 pounds ago, not roller skating, but that once I lost 100 pounds, I would roller skate with them. And so Wayne bought me these awesome roller skates, and Wayne was like, are we roller skating Friday? <laughs> I, I, I Sure. As in tomorrow? Next Friday. Okay. We'll see what happens. They're really cute roller skates. Wayno's thoughtful. He can be for sure. Ugh. I'm sorry, guys. I should have had this done. It's fine. We're just chilling. 
I'm so sorry. Everybody's just chilling. What's everyone doing today? Who else kids have not gone back to school yet? I'm always amazed by the different schedules. I personally think that our schools get out too early. We got out at like, was it the second or third week of May, Rachel? It was early. And we go back on like the 2nd of August, which means all of June is pretty chilly and the kids can't really, really enjoy like water features and stuff. Yeah. August is hot around here. September is generally really hot. But I think the last of the local schools went back today. My kids went back last Thursday. And Beckett was doing work. Fallon was complaining because she still wasn't doing work. It was so funny. Savannah said here in New York, we don't go back until September 5th. Yeah, I thought wow. Labor Day was customary up north. I think it should be here, too. Okay. Like, how do you feel about that proposed, like, couple weeks of school, one week off, couple weeks of school, one week off? Personally, like, I like it. Big schedule change, like instead of yeah. a three-month or, you know, a two-month summer. Yeah. Breaking I, it up through the year. I personally like it, um, especially for Beckett because he does really well with breaks. Like, you can tell he's rejuvenated right after breaks. And so I feel like if he had more breaks, then he wouldn't be as frustrated with going back to school. Okay, I'm not doing the other side just for the sake of time. can do it later yeah august 21st august 24th day after labor day so most everybody else goes back pretty late yeah or i guess not late we just go back super early okay our kids in south dakota do four day school weeks and it's amazing <gasps> Ooh, that sounds amazing yeah I also think eight-hour days is ridiculous. I, oh, I do. And then tacking on more, like homework, homework and yeah. sending them home yeah. with it. I mean, I, how do they have extracurricular? How I do they have lives? And then I think it's ridiculous. As a mom of parent, uh, you know, of children who are ages where I have to help with homework, you know, we come home, we immediately start with homework, we do dinner. If there's an extracurricular, you know, we have to go do that. And yeah, if... They can't be kids. We can't do extracurriculars if there is homework. It's just, there's just not. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I agree. I agree. I honestly have thought so many times about homeschooling my kids so that they just don't have to be in a classroom for eight hours. Especially Beckett. He just that's that's a long time for a kid. And I'm not at all trying to sway anybody that like school. You know, school is hard for kids. I I just think that it's. They expect so much out of kids. Mm -hmm. And if I could do one thing in my life, it would be to really enjoy my childhood more. Right. And not worry about wanting to grow up or wanting to, you know, be independent. I enjoy my independence. and But, but let's just say adulting sucks sometimes. <coughs> what I would give sometimes to snap my fingers and be, you know... Riding your bike in your neighborhood again? Yeah. Thinking that, like, the biggest problem in my entire life was, like... What I was having for lunch. Exactly. <coughs> I just, I really, I really love the philosophy of letting kids be kids as long as they can. Like, while, of course, learning and guiding and teaching them things, but just encouraging them to just be kids. Because it just flies by so quick. Okay, so you could um, just glue this on if you wanted to do that. But because, you know, it's going to be outside, I thought, let's use some L brackets and attach this. And I've lost my L brackets because my table is an <laughs> absolute wreck. They're here somewhere. Here they are. Okay. So I got these. These are going, with the screws that come with this, the screws are going to go, you're going to be able to see, like, the thickness of this is... Um, too too thin for these screws but um, if you're just putting dirt and stuff in there then I don't care to see that come through and it will be fine for the back um, I'm gonna use 
a drill for this just so that it's a little bit quicker. <gasps> no power tools, Becca. I know, I know. You could do it by hand because this wood is so soft, but eh, I'm not doing it. So I'm just going to place one right here and one right here. And then I'll be able to drill this into the plaque. Does anybody want to tell Becca what the title of this video is? Anybody? What is it, Rachel? No power tools. Uh, Look at her face. Look at her face. I, I also want to point out she's the one that told me that. I did. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, Becca, it's fine. Let me find a screwdriver. Just use the drill. Use the drill. Just try to make it quicker because I've made these poor people wait. And it's watch fine. Me weed it's this fine. And you don't have to use power tools. <laughs> Perfecto. Don't edit the title, Rach. I just want to get all the hate comments from people who are like, you said, you should know power tools. I hope that's the way they talk. Me too. <laughs> Kat said she was riding the struggle bus, bus earlier. She can use a power tool. I mean, look at the vinyl that's stuck to my fingers. I can't, I can't even function right now. There's paint on me. There's vinyl. But man, she's cute. This is pretty cute. I have to admit. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Put this guy in here. Okay. Last one. Then we can put our little greenery in there. Done. Our greeneries. I love those the greeneries. Yeah, those I do are like too. my favorite. I have these in several spots in my house. Had them in my camper. Did we buy any fake plants for me? Do we have fake plants? Uh, we haven't done those nitty gritty things yet, but oh. there will be plants. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. yeah. I have okay. bought some. Yeah. Yay. Look at this. Look how cute this is. Oh, I love it. <coughs> it was worth the hassle. Look how cute. It turned out really cute. It looks super high end, Becca. I like it. She looks so cute. Put her on the overhead. Okay. If you can. Oh, she's so cute. I am pleased. I'm very pleased. Love it. Guys, what do you think? What do you think? What do you yeah, think? Yeah, a little crafty craft. This is going to be a nightmare to clean up. Okay, we'll have our assistant do it. Just kidding, we don't have one of those. It's or us. it'll probably sit here until Tuesday, right before we go live again. No, because we have videos to film, <laughs> and we'll have it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to get this cleaned off. That's gonna be fun. Anyway, I've not even mentioned our membership one time. And in fact, after this crap, which wasn't actually a fail, it was just sort of a fiasco. I almost don't want to push our membership because people are gonna be like, wow. I don't want them to teach me to craft, but the truth is we do know a little bit about crafting here and we do love crafting and more than anything, we love teaching you to craft. We love um, our community of crafters here. We love learning new things, teaching you new things. And so if you are interested in becoming part of a community exactly like this, then we do have some options for you. We have a membership here at Oak and Lamb where you can get access to our library of cut files member only content, um, our courses for learning how to use your Cricut and so much more. And you can do that in two different ways. You can do that by purchasing our annual membership at $35 off, which is an amazing deal that we have going on right now. Use the code 35OFF or you can purchase the monthly tier and receive $10 off your first month, which is $9.99. And then every month after that would be $19.99. So um, you can cancel that at any time. If you decide it's not for you, if something happens and you don't want to be a part anymore, you can do that. But go ahead and join that. If you are not in a position where you can join financially, then support us by liking the YouTube channel. Become a subscriber. It's free for you to do that. And you can turn on notifications when we go live and post other content. So 
Thank you all so much for being here with us today. Thank you for staying through this entire project. It's a labor of love. Um, it actually wasn't that that long. It's been an hour and five minutes. And this was lots of steps. Lots of steps. <clears throat> so I feel like that was a pretty decent time. I agree. Right. Right. What's everyone saying? I still haven't looked at Oh, comments. they love it. The project is gorgeous. You Good. did great. Um, yeah. This is bad to get a baby wipe after this anyway <laughs> i can stay and chat for a few minutes if y'all want to chat or we can skedaddle you let me know what do you think the general feel of the crowd is i don't like speaking for anyone but we can leave whenever you're ready becca well i mean i, I want to chat if they want to chat okay you know okay. i love to chat with yeah, them yeah tammy said it's never too long i love the chat time I think we should do a big push to get these ladies to 50K before a year in. Megan, I love that idea. I feel like that's an attainable goal because fourth quarter is generally a really good quarter for subscriptions and, um, yeah, subscribers on YouTube. I feel like that's really attainable. I love this goal, Megan. Kat said, <clears throat> how much did that mat cost you? A lot, Kat. That's why I'm working on it. Otherwise, I would just throw it away. The big ones are... $30? I don't know how much the small one is. I just knew I had to have it, so I put it in the cart. Which $30 almost fills my car in gas, which I think is just insane. Yeah. I really should get some light grip mats. Hey, that's okay. Look at this. This is beautiful. That's it's kind of right up. While I'm, I'm talking to you all, I'm going to grab a baby wipe. And clean this mat. For those of you who love to see things like that, this mat is not that, that dirty. Where did I put the cover? I didn't put it anywhere. Did you? you. I don't like, I feel like I'm being ganged up on right now. No, no, no one's ganging up on you. No one's ganging up. What's for lunch, Rach? I don't know. What's your belly feeling? Is it just nervous? to be 100%, my a belly do not feel great. Okay, then we won't eat. Or maybe I'll bring some food and eat while you get waxed. That would be wonderful. <laughs> I'll take Rach some food. She's a foodie. She does like, not when she's dieting, my God. When she's dieting, Is she she's dieting the right most now? boring person in the world. She eats her freaking apples with jello and. Crap. She's still doing that? Ah, yes. I don't think she's still dieting right now. I don't know. You never know with her. Like she needs to. If you could see her, guys, she's gorgeous. Oh, she's beautiful, yeah. She's a she's a fake redhead like Becca. But much like Becca, I cannot imagine them without red hair now. Right? Like she sends me pictures of her a while ago and I'm like, I wouldn't know you. Carla said, Rebecca, it's obvious that you don't live in California. So Rachel said that, not me. Um, live in California. Filling my gas tank cost me almost $100. So Rachel has a small car. Yeah, I was about to say, you probably have a gas guzzler yeah. too. Like I, have, Becca. I have a Tahoe and it cost me $100 to fill up. It cost, this morning, my gas light was on. It was $41 to fill my tank. Yeah. yeah. Now she's only got a, I think it's a 12 gallon tank. I have to go get gas a lot. She does not get good gas mileage. Yeah, I get 14 miles to the gallon, so that's fun. You know my Maxima got 14 miles a gallon? Yeah. I don't know. I don't She's know like happened. a speed racer. I don't know what happened. Yeah, oh, yeah. I loved my Maxima. Best first Maxine. car. Maxine. Maxine. She was a 2001 blue Maxima. Loved her. Why did I think she was white? Oh, no, she was blue. Like a pearly blue. Gorgeous. Oh. I'd still be driving her right now. Love her. Uh, it's PB and J time for me, Scott. Oh, I do Scott. love a PB and J. I love a PB and J. I came in late. Why was the planter not centered? Personal preference. Personal preference. I like offset things. Also, I mentioned it. You could put the letters this way and like a name right here if you wanted to. I just like the offset. I'm not a, I, Anna's a symmetric, per, like symmetry. I'm not that way. I like asymmetric things. Um, I have a Corvette, 21 gallon, 22 miles per gallon, best car ever. Nice. 
Jason's truck is a hybrid, and it gets like 600 miles on a tank. Like, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's nice. Anywho, thank you all for being here with us. It has been an interesting live. I'm glad it came out well, even though you we had recovered. hiccups. recovered. Even though we had the hiccups. Um, yeah, I think half, an, maybe not even half, I think maybe a quarter of an inch bigger on each of those. So instead of 0.86 for the size, maybe if I had done one inch, then it would have cut just perfectly. But yeah. you live and learn, right? Now you know. Now you know, so you don't have to make that mistake. But thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you guys live next week.